Good morning. And I've got a really quick one for you this morning talking about how to use the Windows Console Companion app, that's a mouthful, to put a custom gamer pick on your Xbox gamer profile. Now, I've intended to do this video a couple of times, but for some reason never got round to it. So that's what I'm doing today. Now, obviously, first things first, you're going to need the console companion. And the way you get that is you go into the Windows Store or the Microsoft Store. I've actually got it open, but you can go in through here and it'll be up there. But as I say, I've got it open and then you would search for console. If you type in console, it'll be the, it should be the first thing that comes up, Xbox Console Companion. And you'd select that. And as you can see, it says here, launch. You'd obviously need to download it. So that's what you would do. You download it. And then once you've downloaded it, obviously it's installed, you can go and load it up. And the way you do that, the easiest way anyway, is to go into the search bar at the bottom. And if you type X, usually the first thing you'll see is Xbox Console Companion. Obviously, you can type the whole thing in, but you shouldn't need to. So if you just click on that, <coughs> excuse me, and open that up. Now, as you can see, I'm already logged in. You can see my gamer pick up here. And uh, so I'm all ready to go. But what obviously you're going to need to do is you're going to know it'll ask you to log in. So you would log in first. And then once you've done that, you can go and carry on with what we're going to do here. Now, we're talking about my console uh, <laughs> icon. If you actually click on that, <clears throat> this is what we need. So click on there and you'll see I've actually got my gamer pick up here already. But you would click on customize. And then if you see here, you've got various options. Now, if you hover over the picture and click customize again, you've got all these different options and you could choose one of these if you wanted to. But I actually want to use a custom pick. So if you see here, it says choose a custom picture. So click on that. And I've already got some loaded up here. Now, obviously, you'd need to create one and put it into a folder that you know where it is. <laughs> if you don't know where it is, you can't use it. And then you would select the one you want. Now, you have to make sure this is either a JPEG or a PNG, and it has to be 1080 by 1080. If you do that, it should work fine. The other thing to take into account is the, the picture you're creating is 1080 by 1080 square. So what you'll find is often it'll get slightly cut off when it's in a circle. So what I did with this one here, I don't know if you can see it, this one here, I've actually made it slightly smaller so it fits in the circle. So what I'm going to do now is if I click on that one, and this one's a 1080 by 1080 as well. And if you look here, this has got my icon with the Xbox Series X image behind it. So if I click on that, as you can see here, it says edit your picture, <clears throat> scroll to zoom, click to drag and reposition. Now, obviously, I can't scroll it. I think if you made a, a slightly smaller picture, so if it was less than 1080 by 1080, 720 by 720 or something, you could probably zoom in and, and make it bigger. But uh, I've never had any joy with that. It never seems to zoom for me because uh, I've always used the 1080 by 1080. And you can move it around a bit. I've, obviously, as you can see here, I can't move it much because, again, it's 1080 by 1080. So anyway, that, that's how it would look. And if you're happy with it, then you would choose next. And then your next option is upload. So this is what it's going to look like once it's uploaded. Now, I'm actually going to stick with the one I've currently got. So I'm going to go back. But if you click on upload, it'll upload your gamer picture. And then you should see it on your Xbox. And that's it. That's how simple it is. Hope that was uh, some use to you guys. And uh, if it was, give me a thumbs up. If it wasn't, obviously, give me a thumbs down. And let me know in the comments if you've used a custom gamer pick. And we can have a chat about <laughs> what we prefer. I'm actually going to put this on my PlayStation as well. So uh, look out for a video on that if you're interested. But anyway, that's me done for now. And uh, I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.